be in for the win. Any car. Any car. Subscribe us, give us a thumbs up, motivate why we should come to you. Everybody needs 90,000. Open sesame. Oh no! What you've done here, it's a record breaking <laughs> thing. This is sick. With our with a mobile workshop and pimp your ride. Here we are, Hauke's newest adventure. I think, what do you call it, Hauke? The smallest, tri smallest workshop on world or mobile workshop? It's called the Kleinste Geilste Werkstatt der Welt. And if you translate that to English, it would be the smallest, most horny workspace in the world. Why horny? If, if German say, wow, geil, it's super. Oh. It's like, wow, crazy, cool, good. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is really cool. We have not seen, this is one of a kind. I think it's one in the world, Hauke. It's the only civil version of a truck like this. Look here, now he's adjusting the level. Why are we doing this? Because you need to adjust the truck, you need to level it before you work with the crane and stabilize the crane. So if you lift something happy, ha happy, <laughs> heavy, the, uh, the crane or the truck doesn't tip over. This will be cool. And now we will start to see really the, the lights, <laughs> how they are working. We have the tube lights here, giving good lights. We have uh, the tail lamps. And then we will also now see what Hauke have made with this uh, uh, container and for me it feels like a mystery box and Hauke is very orientated now with his uh, uh, I don't know, a joystick. Hauke, the, the crane of this one is a very, very special crane, huh? I, it's not special special but it's a HMF, a Danish produced HMF crane, very strong crane. How much can it take? Just right next to uh, the truck here I can lift uh, almost eight tons. Eight tons, okay wow. And with full arm out? Uh, when I take it out, it's about uh, 20, 22 meters away. Yeah. I take 1.5 tons. Wow. That's massive, 1.5 tons. 25 meters away? Well, uh, a little more than 20. Just above 20 meters away, he really do over 1.8 tons. Wow, look now. When you see this car, you understand lightning is everything. You need to have good light to be able to work. As this car is going to the car, the desert. And the light is just not for fun, it's also for the, the need of it. It's a pure passion play. This is really cool, this is really special. Now, join me, we'll see what he's doing here with the hook. I forgot the helmet. I'll take the helmet on. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, sorry. He will put the chains on top of the container and then we will lift it off. Yeah, you're right. We will lift this off and make... Uh, I, 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 I don't know what will happen <laughs> on the mystery box side here, but it's, it's, it will be super interesting to see what we are doing. I don't think we should be too close here when he is doing that. But uh, okay, must have helmet on. So safety first. See him now. He's untying the container so we can lift it off. And and the container is all the containers have a, su a su certain standard in, in in the world, so they can always fit. So he can change to any other 20 foot container. Just oh, this must be a 10, 20 foot container to change them interact. We have put light just on the on, uh, on the crane, so he can see the actual uh, uh, hook in the top. So see the work that is following it. Now you see we are hooked up. We are ready to to lift off the container. Just you see we have the light on the hook. Good. The, the chains are tied. Wow. Okay. Take this. Look at this. This is sick. It, it is really, really strange. It's like no problem at all. But it's a really heavy thing, and the chains, you know, they're not that big. That's a good work. It seems to be really steady on the hands, huh? Did you get that? The Danish Dynamo. Danish crane, Swedish truck, and Swedish light. That's good. Well, yeah. But this is how, how to handle that, huh? I'll turn it on again. But, but you see, you have a, for every function, you have one bottom. And then you can adjust the speed and everything. I can see how much weight I do have on the hook, how much of my maximum lift I have used in percentage weight. It says load, just a second. It takes some time uh, to learn to maneuver this. Eh? Oh. You get used to it. It's like, you know that, flying the drone, everything. Suddenly you have everything in the fingers. Like driving a car, you know where the wiper is, where the horn is and everything. So I don't, use, I don't look at the bottoms anymore, I just know you know, they have a, um, a world championship in doing this. Okay. They just had it on the EIA, and a yeah. Swedish guy actually got the medal. Denmark lost. So now we can open the container and turn on some light, huh? Then I saw, yeah, massive, massive, the wheel, 
So massive. Okay, you ready? Yep, yep. Open sesame. Some people ask, you, why do you need red position light? Yeah. But I think it's good. If we work on the Paris Dakar, people can see it's a red light over there. People can see, take care, somebody's working on the ground. But beside that, we get a lot of light when we're working because on each door, I have one of these amazing working lights, yeah. the big ones. We have two small ones who take uh, from the container now to 25, 30 meters. Yeah. And then the middle one takes out to 50, 100 meters. And then the big light, nobody needs, but everybody wants it. Yeah, and the big light. So yeah, really, if we do a small calculation here on lumen, we know that we have over 32,000 actual lumens on the big ones on the door. That is basically 64,000 lumen only there. And then in the small square ones, uh, smaller square ones, we have 3,000 each. So we have plus 12,000. In my math, that's like 74,000 lumen. And on top of that, we add on the small bars. 9,000 each, so 74 plus 18, 74, there's 84, and then 92,000 or 94,000. You know, we have over 90,000 actual lumen. Okay, have you, you have over 90,000. That's what everybody needs. Everybody needs 90,000. And now it's not even dark. It's just, this is what we need when you're gonna go do the repair job in Paris Dakar. Uh, but, and this is only half of it. This is only half, we have two doors more. Two doors more? Yeah, two doors more. Look in here. You know, my calculation was wrong. Two doors more. I need to check. What do we have on that door? Oh, no! <laughs> we have, I think it's going to be record. We have over 150,000 lumen. I need to give you a high five. This is what you've done here. It's a record breaking thing. Look at this. Yeah. And, you, and, and every door can uh, be turned on and off. You see, this light isn't on now, but so you can turn this off. Now we only have one door. Okay. okay. Huh? How do you open this one? You, you pull them on, on inwards to the uh, middle? Inward? Just like you open the other one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. It just takes a dane. Wow, okay. wow, wow. Now, okay. Oh, whoa. Yeah, now we need to get one shot here because I think we cannot run all these 150,000 lumen. As you know, we need to get some Guinness World Record on this. We are looking at the world record here. So, okay, enlighten me with the world record now. Put me out. Give me light. Let there be light, and there was light. We have here over 150,000 real lumen. This will be groundbreaking in the car. You know, this is one of a kind. I don't think anybody has done anything similar in the world. Bring in the cotton. Huh? Iceland always tells us they have the world's strongest uh, man. But we have the world's strongest light right here in our working space. Look at that. And, and what is the beautiful thing here, Hauke, is that we can actually, you can actually use it. Now, here you show a proper use for work light. This is amazing. And it, it, it's, it's uh, feeded by solar power. And on top of that, as Hauke said, it's feeded by solar panels on top of the whole container. Eh? 1,400 watt. Wow. Loading capacity. And then we have uh, batteries. six batteries of 200 amps down there. 220 amps, sorry. And here you go. Go down. Back to Back to Back to Now we can pimp every car with light. No matter where we go and which car it is, we take this truck yeah. and go and pimp it with some light. light. We should find find one winner out yeah. there. Yeah. Who, who who has which car out there yeah. who needs to be pimped by us yes. with Strand's light? We will come with this container yes. and we will pimp your car. So you need to go in. Sub, uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and give a motivation. You need to put a motivation in. The best motivation will win. Yeah. Give us a reason why we should come and pimp your car. And you're up for the, the competition, mm -hmm. the winning to get the chance to get your car pimped by us, by this container, where you are. Be in for the win. Any car. Any car. I'll take the rules one more because I was so excited now <laughs> by the, the, the competition. So the rules, bring the rules. Do like this. Subscribe us, give us a thumbs up, motivate why we should come to you with our with a mobile workshop and pimp your ride no matter if you have a volvo suzuki toyota whatever give us a motivation why we should come to you see you soon